All right, we're at the uh, section 1.5 estimates in order of magnitude uh, calculations. Let's uh, share the PowerPoint. That's the last slide, slide of the last section. Uh, now we go on, uh, oh, let me find it in my notes. Um, now, what if someone were to ask you the, what is the number of bits of data on a typical Blu-ray disc? Um, you would uh, give an estimate and probably expressed in scientific notation. Uh, the estimate may be made even more approximate by expressing it an order as an order of magnitude, which is a power of 10, just a, a power of 10. Um, so you express the number in scientific notation. It's a multiplier of a power of 10. Uh, be, the multiplier of the power of 10 is between 1 and 10 and a unit. Um, the, if the multiplier is less than 3.162, which is the square, square root of 10, then the order of magnitude uh, of the number is equal to the power of 10 in scientific notation. If the multiplier is greater than 3.162, which is the uh, square root of 10, then the order of magnitude, you go one larger, one larger than the power of 10 in scientific notation. Uh, now the symbol, the tilde, uh, means uh, is on the order of, is on the order of. So let's give an example. Um, usually when order of magnitude estimate are made, the results are reliable to within about a factor of, of 10. And accuracies um, caused by guessing too low for one number often canceled by other guesses that are too high. Uh, with practice, guesstimates become better and better. Uh, I'll try to show some examples of these, uh, probably more in the lab than just in the lecture. We'll see, I, I may sneak some in the lecture. Because of the simplicity of these types of calculations, they can be performed on a small scrap of paper and are often called back of the envelope calculations. So uh, let's look uh, 0.008 um, meters is 8.6 times 10 to the uh, minus three. But just to give it an order of magnitude, since the eight 0.6 is greater than the um, 3.162. We we bump it up. We bump it up. Instead of just saying 10 to the minus 3, we say 10 to the minus 2. Um, and point zero, zero point zero zero two one is 2.1 times 10 to the minus 3. But since 2.1 is less than the 3.162, uh, we just leave the 10 to the minus 3. Uh, 720 meters is uh, 7.2 times 10 to the 2 meters, but since the 7.2 is over the 3.162, uh, we bump it up one more and it becomes uh, 10 to the 3 meters. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, did I, oops. Um, yeah, let's go to the next slide. Okay, let's uh, uh, estimate the breaths, the number of breaths taken during an average human lifetime. Okay, we start by guessing that the typical human lifetime is about 70 years. Uh, think about the average number of breaths that a person takes in one minute. This number varies depending on whether the person is exercising, sleeping, angry, serene, and so forth. Uh, to the nearest order of magnitude, we shall choose 10 breaths per minute as our estimate. This estimate is certainly closer to the true average value than an estimate of one breath per minute or 100 breaths per minute. Uh, so uh, we find the approximate number of minutes in a year. Let's show the calculation. One year is uh, approximately 400 days, uh, 400 days in a year. Uh, 25 hours in a day, 60 minutes in an hour. I mean, I, I know it's 365, actually 365.25, but we're doing estimates here, so we, we're doing some rounding uh, just to make it uh, easier. We come up to 6 times 10 to the 5 minutes. 
is the um, uh, number of uh, minutes in a year, okay? Uh, now find the approximate number of minutes in a 70 year lifetime. Uh, so the number of minutes, 70 times, six times 10 to the fifth minutes per year, you get four times 10 to the seven minutes. Uh, find the approximate number of breaths in a lifetime. So you, you guess 10 breaths per minute times four times 10 to the seven minutes, you get four times 10 to the eight breaths. Um, the person takes on the order of 10 to the, since four is greater than the three point, uh, what was the, what was the number 3.162? Since four is greater than the 3.162, we bump it up. Uh, we bump it up, so therefore a person takes on the order of 10 to the ninth breaths in a lifetime. Notice how much simpler it is in the first calculation above to multiply 400 times 25 rather than uh, to work out the more accurate 365 times um, 24. Um, you know, so you should be doing these calculations without a calculator. Um, they're just in your head. They're just to give you an estimate, just to give you an order of magnitude, to let you know whether you've got a reasonable answer. That's the whole point of the uh, estimates. Okay. Um, now, uh, I pushed too many buttons. Uh, we could claim that 80 years times uh, what if the average lifetime were estimated as 80 instead of 70? What would change our final estimate? We could claim that 80 years times six times 10 to the fifth minutes per year is equal to five times 10 to the seven minutes. Um, so our final estimate should be five times 10 to the eighth um, breaths. This answer is still on the order of 10 to the nine breaths. Uh, so an order of magnitude estimate would be unchanged. Uh, so you can see uh, since five is greater than the 3.126 or the 3.162, whatever it was, 3.162, um, since it's greater than the 3.162, we bump it up and it still says 10 to the ninth uh, breaths. Okay, this ends section 1.5 on estimation in order of magnitude calculations. Next, we will discuss a very important topic in section 1.6, significant figures. And uh, I see people getting significant figures wrong quite often, so we're gonna spend some time, and it's actually gonna be discussed in our one of our very first labs that we, uh, uh, actually by the time you view this video, you probably will, already will have done the lab, depending on whether you're keeping up the, uh, up to date or not. Okay.